What is going on everybody? Welcome. I hope all is well. Uh, I am on my way to do some camping. Surprise, surprise. This time though, the weather has changed, so I'm going to be doing some desert camping. For now, let us just enjoy this drive. All right, made it to camp. Ooh, I have camped here before, and I do see my fire ring, not in the greatest shape that I left it, and I am seeing trash. That sucks, but whatever. All right, let's just go ahead and get camp set up for now. have camp all set up, situated. I've been chilling. 
Let me show you a camp real quick. So that's my setup. I think that's how I set it up last time I actually camped here before. And uh, the thing about this spot is when I camped here last time, I actually made a firing. Here it is. So it's not how I left it before, which I was expecting, but unfortunately it is trashed. And I'm imagining that there's probably going to be some trash around camp as well. So I will do a little uh, walk around and clean up. Anyways, it is um, a little bit windier than I thought it was going to be today. I did look up the weather. I looked up everything. I knew it was going to be windy, but I didn't know it was going to be this windy. Still beautiful out. It does put a damper on cooking. Oh my God. Oh, hold on. So while I do this, um, so I'm cooking on the campfire and I am going to, I'm just meal prepping some salmon, but I pulled them out of the freezer this morning because I thought about it this morning and I forgot to take them out when I got to camp so they could start thawing. All right, there they are, the three pieces of salmon. The dilemma I do have though is for dinner tonight, I was planning on making fried rice and uh, sea scallops, which I still am. I'm gonna cook them on the stove. Wind's coming that way, so I'm kind of set up on the right side. Uh, the only problem is, is I was planning on doing it while the sun was still out. I was going to cook everything up so I didn't have to worry about it when the sun went down because once the sun goes down, it's going to get cold and it's going to make everything else cold. And so I was trying to avoid that, but I just don't know. I don't know. I'll play it by ear. For now, I'm just going to chill.
the wind has all but died down so awesome for that uh i would say maybe about like half an hour ago that's when it started to slowly taper away i think official sunset is in like 20 minutes and that's actually when i'm gonna start the fire and i'm gonna start cooking my food so i postponed making my food because of the wind and so I figured that's when I'll start cooking and that way, you know, when I cook the fried rice, the scallops, when I get that all done, the fire should be ready so I can then cook my salmon and then everything will be done and squared away. And I can just enjoy the rest of the night. That's my plan at least.
on. You know what? Just, just I don't need that no more. All right, my food is done. I have everything cleaned up. Uh, I added obviously more wood to the fire. So I'm making my tea right now. Here is what my dinner looks like. Those are my leftovers. So I am going to enjoy my food, the fire, my evening. I don't see any stars, but I'm hoping they'll, oh, I see a few. I'm hoping they'll come out. Uh, <coughs> all right, so I will see you guys at some point tomorrow. Good morning. I am, I'm warming up my water so I can wash my face and brush my teeth and wake up. <laughs> I will say I slept in this morning. It was so peaceful. I was like, I'm gonna sleep in. I'm just gonna enjoy the serenity. And that's what I did. I wasn't planning on starting a fire this morning just cause I thought it was supposed to be windy. I mean, that's what the weather said and there's virtually no wind. So I think I'm actually gonna get the fire going so I can enjoy that. It's 45 degrees right now, so it's beautiful. I think when I got up last night to go to the bathroom, it said it was 39 degrees. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the fire going and enjoy the morning.
Oh, what a great morning and day this is turning out to be. You know, I gotta say that when I planned this trip out, I thought about postponing it an extra day because of the, the weather, mainly the wind. But when I looked at the, the forecast for today and tomorrow, I was like, well, there's no point in me because the wind is going to be the same each day. So I was like, screw it. I'll just go out on my normal days. And I mean, other than a light breeze, there really has been no wind. Which is kind of a bummer because I was planning on making my classic breakfast. My potatoes, my eggs with my avocado and, you know, some veggies and stuff. I was planning on making that this morning, but I was like, you know what, since it's going to be windy... And the wind will make it, you know, feel colder than it actually is. I'm just not going to worry about that. I'll just, you know, bring some snacks and other stuff that I can eat that I don't have to worry about cooking. And that'll suffice. So that was a fail. I will say as well that uh, this trip made me realize. So like the past two months, pretty much all my trips the next day, I can enjoy a little bit of the morning. But then I have to pack up and go because I have stuff to take care of at home. And this trip, this trip is like the first trip that, you know, the next day, I don't have to worry about like packing up and going to take care of stuff because I'm pretty much all caught up at home. So I'm actually going to enjoy the little bit of day I have left here and then I'm going to pack up and go. But this is where I'm going to leave you guys. So just like normal, I appreciate you. Remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is. And hopefully I'll see you next time. All right. Take care, guys.